Lord of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, the day of eternity, Revelation 21.1, I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Apostle Peter wrote about the new heaven and the new earth, but John gives more detail, saying that there would be no more sea. From this, we understand that the coming new world will be entirely different than our present one. Our world is blue in color because over 70% of its surface is covered by the oceans. Our world could not survive without the oceans, which are an integral part of what manifests life. Whether we look at the atmospheric change systems or the biological systems, the new creation will be of an entirely different order of things which we cannot now conceive. This order is described in the briefest of terms. The symbolic meaning of that, there will be no more sea, primarily is that there will be no more suppression and no more unrest. In the old days, before modern technology of communication and transportation, when someone immigrated and crossed the sea, they often would never see their loved ones again on earth. But that will never be the case in our eternal heavenly abode. Neither distance nor death will ever separate us from one another again. For Apostle John continues by saying that God shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. The sea also symbolizes the unrest and turbulence of man due to sin. Such unrest will never mar that sin for one very simple reason. The presence of sin will then be banished forever. We will be in our glorified sinless bodies like Christ. As part of his new creation of Alekenikitesis, and unlike the first creation, it will be an incorruptible state. It is the day of eternity, for night shall not be there. Dear brethren, what else we can ask for our Lord than to thank him? Rather than rising speculations and questions and doubts and asking him, Lord, are you there? Lord, will you do this? Lord, are you going to do that? It would be better to humbly subject ourselves to the praise of his glory by learning his doctrine and understanding to his work. There is no better thing than that we can do on this earth. So, dear brethren, which way you want to go, you decide as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our headboard and eyes closed, the closing movements being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In our ability to link to Lord God the Father, that you believe upon Christ. That is the moment itself, you shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for is for very simple. Believing Christ, you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the great matter is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine. You shall learn to acquire to possess to know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And whereas for the pastor teacher, the great matter is to carry Sotham Lagan, herald the word in season or out of season, because of the diamond from my witnesses where with has been called. And I am after my witnesses. Number one is indwelling Trinity, followed by Bible in our hands. And the number two witnesses will be our hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brethren, do not worry. Besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. But our work is to rightly divide the word of truth. And whereas for the pastor, and whereas for this, if there are no hearers, do not worry. The work of the pastor teacher to be done perfect without worrying about the softies. And that will be a great gain for us. So which way, dear brother, and you want to go, you decide as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, we're grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.